The Big Brother Niger house is full of twists, turns, drama, saga. I'm true with you for Bella Niger. You know who we're going to talk to. <laughs> What's up, Chief? Chief, I'm good, though. well done. Have fun now. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Robocop. Like you're just ready to just um, go. Let's go, I'm ready. Um, I can do this all day, like Cap. You've right. been doing this all day? Straight up, oh. I think it's my final final one, so I'm really excited. Welcome to the life of the, of the famous. Welcome to Celebrity Life, man. I'm grateful. Let me just put it that way. I'm grateful to be here. <laughs> Can I see your eyes? All oh, right. That's tough. <laughs> you had a long day, huh? I say I, I should wear glasses just in case I cry. <laughs> Nobody got the joke. <laughs> so. All right. Saga, where do we start? Where do we start? I don't know, I don't know. Start from, start from the good things. <laughs> I'm just going to go straight to the point. You're the notorious lover boy of this season. Go on. Right? How does that tag feel? Like, how have you come to terms with that perception of yourself? Well, it's not... It's not foreign to me, Sha. The feeling is not foreign to me. Or people talk to me this way, it's not foreign to me because I I always treat my women with respect, like that way. Although Nini was in my woman, but then that's how I treat all the ladies around me, Sha. I have four female best friends that I've had right from when I was in year one, almost 11, 12 years ago. I was best, uh, what's it called? Groomsmen to all their husbands at their weddings. So it's not a foreign feeling to me. I'm, 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 I'm so you've always been this way to like the women in your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have yeah. to the women in my life. Let's so let's um, let's let, let, let's go away from the romantic side. We might get back to that later. But Saga, you're a, you're an engineer, you're a fitness coach, and a visual artist, right? Yeah. That's what type of engineer? And I need to ask because it's crazy how I seem to I can relate on those levels of who you are. Yeah. What type of engineering? I'm a well completion engineer or well intervention engineer. I practiced both of them for three to four years. Yeah. Well, that's busy. Okay, so you have an engineering side and you also have like the creative side of you. Which is yes, more to your liking? Well, eventually they are they're kind of like they are all from the same stream because you have to be a creative to understand science, actually. That's why most artists end up in the sciences. Even Da Vinci, a few of them end up doing something related to science. Because you have to be creative in your mind. Most of the things that we do in oil and gas, if you cannot see, you have to imagine it. You know, if you don't have a creative mind, although you might not be creative, I don't think creativity is all about drawing. Telling stories, you know, just imagining things in your head, painting, speaking, writing, they're all creative. Uh, you know what I mean. So it all came from the same place. But then um, I enjoy science and I enjoy art. The only thing is, the thing, the thing about art is art draws out emotion from, emotions from people. That's one thing that science doesn't really have. You know, when I give somebody a portrait, like it's almost a spiritual feeling sometimes when I'm creating it as well. So that's one thing that engineering doesn't have. But that's what fascinates me. That's what keeps me going in the art side of myself. So, and then for the fitness, you, okay. You never really seem to show that part I, of yourself to like as an artist to later on, like down the line. Why would you say that was? Why would you ask me? Is the real question. We don't have bios and pencils in the house. Yeah, but you know, people, you know how people people go to the house and they want to sell parts of themselves. Right, the, the musician yeah. goes in there to sell the music, the artist goes there to show the skills and the, the dancer goes there yeah. and, yeah. you know, so yeah. People typically 
you want to go there to sell yourself, right? And it took a while before we saw that party. Imagine if you had gone out earlier before, was it like a slow release plan or was it just as it came, as it came? Okay, what I'm trying to say is, we don't, we don't have pencils and virals in the house. You get, oh, oh. and then when we do, we're not allowed. We're not allowed to keep pencils and virals. And then okay, okay, I drew, yeah. I drew, I drew Irene. Let me finish. I drew Irene initially. I don't know if that trended. I don't know if the internet saw it. I also drew Nini when I got a chance with a pen. I don't know if the internet saw that one too. And then every art task that we got, I won. I don't know if the internet saw that as well. I kept begging people that for painting materials and art tasks. But it seemed as if I was the only creative in the house, so it might have been unfair to bring more art tasks to the house. But in terms of all the chances I got being properly utilized, 100%, I used every chance I got to show my creativity from the start. I drew three times when we don't have access to As soon as we finish a task, they are collecting barrels and papers from us. So that woman won. I just noticed that there was a there was like a gap, so I just quickly took that time, just quickly did something before they seized the barrel of paper. Do you get? Okay. So we had like two or three art tasks, and I won it all. Okay, fair points, fair points, fair points, right? Now, before the house, you are a online fitness instructor, right? Is it something yes. that um, yes. you plan on continuing? I mean, it shows in the physique, anyways. So, what, what are plans for that, like, now that you're out of the house? All right. Okay, so the thing is, I used to train on WhatsApp before. Like, I had I had a fitness club on WhatsApp groups where I used to train people daily. But I don't think I can keep that up anymore. Not just because of my schedule, but also because the numbers cannot, cannot, can't accommodate on WhatsApp. So, I'm thinking maybe a fitness app or maybe I work with some fitness brands and find, to make, find a way to make it bigger or I set up my own gym. I'm not sure. But the main plan for me is my art. And art actually takes a lot of time. That's why I cannot do, I can't do, I can't leave it to physical training alone. So I have to find a way to make it bigger. So maybe fitness app, or as I said, work with other brands, or own a gym. Do you understand? The main thing is art. And art actually takes time. It does. Yeah. It does. Especially when mm -hmm. you need like inspiration to yeah. really bring your art to yeah. life. Right. So, yes. at your exit interview, you also mentioned acting and modeling as part of your plans, right? Uh, exactly. Has acting, exactly. Yeah, has acting been like a passion or is this something you discovered in BBN House? Because I noticed a lot of you guys coming out. There's a there's a love for acting that was sown in, in in you guys. So, would you say you, it's it's something yeah. that has been for you? Well, I've been so acting so small. Yeah, I've been acting little by little. Yeah, yeah, maybe church dramas, school dramas, those kind of acting. Nothing major, you know. But I've, I've it's not like it's, it was entirely new to me when I entered the house. So I knew that I had the talent in acting, and then I'm a dramatic person naturally, you know. So I've always had that talent somehow. <laughs> so when I got to the house, I explored it more because we're acting almost three, four times a week. It even got annoying at some point, you know. So, but I, I won't say acting is like my first thing i want to do when i step out but then if i can get a rule or two in a year i'll be happy but that's not like my main i'm not i'm not like going to go for it you know but if i get a role or two roles in a year I'm, I'll, be, I'll be fine i don't know how the thing works so. i know yeah. speaking of the dramatics right you had the whole internet on shutdown when during the whole nini disappearance saga and you were sleeping you know you had your little night vigil in front of of the diary room and you know the way you were like man how what drew you to her in 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 such a relative short time you know in your stay like what was it about Nimi that that really yeah. just took over you like that it took over he took over for me. <laughs> That's what anyway. it looked like. That's what it looked like, bro. No problem. Well, um, I like to talk to her, you know. She was she was fun to talk to and we had a good connection. We made ourselves happy in the house and we supported each other. You know, you need a support system in that house. In the people in that house, you don't have 
Uh, I, I call my mom when I'm feeling down. I call my best friend. You know, you can't go out for a drink. You don't have all of that. So, and it's pretty emotional in that house. You go for a task, you put in your all, you lose. Who do you go and talk to after? You know, or maybe people that fires you one very painful thing, or maybe there's no food in the house, or you know, all those kind of, so you, everybody kind of needed that someone that they had in their corner. You know, so Nini was that someone for me. The only thing is, I'm an extra passionate person and I, I, I am overdue, you know, so I probably overdid it because that's who I am. You understand, Bob? Like, you know, just that friend that. Something that you, you it's, it's kind of the way you've been, for say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You know, to be honest, I like the way you're really owning that part of yourself. Like, you're truthful to yourself and it's not something that anybody can wake up and shame you um, for, for having yeah. emotions and expressing your feelings. I really respect yeah. that about you. You know, to be honest. Yeah. And but like I'm curious, right? It's still a game. Yeah. And you really chose Nini over Big Brother when you you had the task to do and you basically snitched on Biggie. The task wasn't Nini versus Big Brother. It was fight with Nini and stay away from her and get Tore da Begnera and Tore BB tokens. That's what it was. It wasn't Nini versus it wasn't designed do this, do this for Big Brother, or die, or lose the no, show. No, no, I get you, but but you, you exactly. Actually... No, it wasn't nice like what happened was. Okay, what happened was I was executing the task perfectly. Like she already even broke up with me. We're not we're not dating anyways. But then she told me I never want to speak to you again, and I was not even done with the task. You get, but the following day I didn't anticipate that she was going to fight with Cross. Another fight with Cross. You see, in the Big Brother house, one small fight, you just find out you are pushing the person just to get past, and then you get a strike. And there was no, like, no, you can't trust anybody to have your back up. Even when people are telling you, during fights, when people are telling you, ah, don't fight again, don't fight again, they probably also pinch you in the bum bum so that you can slap somebody. You know, it's only your friends that you can truly trust to talk to you at a time like that. So she didn't have anybody in her space at that time. So I had to even break, I, I'm sorry, I had to find, like, a loop or a grey area where I had to step in the fight and try to comfort her so that she can calm down, not overdo it. I even had to take her outside, look, like keep her outside because if she was with cross talking, 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 who knows what would have happened, you know? So when I finished that, I went back to my task and then I later I heard that she was crying. I knew that Nini would never allow anybody to talk to her when she's crying in that house. Nobody, she would just push everybody away. I'm the only person that can get through to her. And how can I get through to her when she's not talking to me again? So I, I just put her emotional health above Tony that big Naira. That's what happened. It wasn't, ah, I like Nini so much, I hate Big Brother, fuck you Big Brother and everything. No, it was her emotional health. You can't be crying alone in the Big Brother house when you have a friend. Come on. If they tell you to betray your friend for 20K, will you do it? 20K dollars. 20k naira. What's the story of big naira? Story of big naira can buy you five loaves of bread. Have you seen? Have you seen the exchange rate these days? I'm talking about dollars, dollars or naira. No, I said 20k naira. That's what I said. Come on now, bro. Like 20k naira. Come on, like up the stakes. Exactly. <laughs> like, so that's, that's, that's what it was. That's, that's what it was. It was story of big naira and story BB tokens. I told Nini. I told Nini in the house. I don't know if people heard that part. If it was 1,500 BB tokens and story of big naira. She would have cried to death. Yeah. Because with one of, with 1,500 BB tokens and the amount of BB tokens I had, I would have bought immunity for myself and I would still be in the Big Brother house. But it was 200 BB tokens. If I added that to what I have, and I did that task every other week till I left, 200 BB tokens till I left the house, I still wouldn't have 2,000 BB tokens to buy immunity. So you understand, I just weighed her emotional health versus the price. I didn't know Big Brother would strike me, fuck me up, mess my friendship with Perry, end my, my career outside the house. I didn't know he was going to do all of that. No. I, I really respect your, your, your train of yeah. thought as to why you took that decision. Yeah. I can't speak for anything yeah. else, but no, like, I rock with that. I like that. I like that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool with yeah. you, man. Um, now, let's move away from like, Nini and let's, let's, let's go back yeah. to you, right? Now, before you were a big shot, yeah. who do you was... Who did you view as your biggest competition in the house? I, I would just say Emmanuel. Yeah. Most times during the tasks and everything, he was always, yeah, not like competition as in, the, I don't know what's happening outside. 
for the like the game. I don't know. You can't really know who is your competition outside. You can't know. But then in the house, when we are playing tasks and games, like when I set a record, Ivan is always chasing it. Or when he sets the record, I'm always chasing it. So that's the one I can call a competition that I can understand. You know, and then we had we both models. He's also uh, an artist of some sort. He likes puzzles, I like puzzles. You know, the things I liked, he likes. He could write one or two things. You know, that kind of a thing. So he was just, and then we had similar body structure, I guess, I don't know. He was just the one that looked like a competition to me, but he was never unhealthy. I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't call White Money my competition. White Money is, is on his own lane. Who can do more push-ups? Me, me definitely. Me. <laughs> Definitely. Me. I can do I can do I can do four hundred push ups in an hour, I'm sure. Four hundred. No, I think for five minutes. I think I can do seventy. Seventy. On 70. a good day. Yes. I'm still strong. I don't think I can do seventy now. <laughs> ah. Yeah, let me let me train you. Bring twenty thousand bring twenty thousand dollars, let me train you. No, we can work something out, Saga. Like we can, we can, we can have a. Like, you know. Yeah, yeah. You can give me two hundred, two hundred baby tokens. And this guy, can I pay on credit? Can I pay on credit? <laughs> no, but funny thing is, if you keep doing three hundred push-ups, I mean, say three hundred, thirty push-ups every day, one day you do thirty-five. That's how it works. Another day you do forty. So long as you keep playing with the. Yeah, but what about your rest days now? You have to have the rest days in between. No, but with push, like if you do push up, to, a push ups today, and you rest tomorrow, and then you do it the next day, you can now maybe probably do it every day. It's not, it's not an intense exercise that requires so much rest. So long as you're not pushing it to the extreme. But once, once a beginner starts doing push ups, it's going to feel some pain. But once you overcome that initial pain, you can probably do it every day. It's not so intense like benching. But if I do 400 push ups today, I'm definitely not doing any push up tomorrow. That one is for sure. Do you understand? I need to rest for like two days. But if you are doing that 30 you said, you can do 30 today, rest tomorrow. And if you do 30 next tomorrow, you can do 30 every, every following day. You'll be fine. Yeah, you'll be fine. It will help. Fair because point. it's not I intensive. See. Yeah. I see. Now, in a few yeah. words, how would you describe your whole experience um, this season? When I was in the season or when I stepped out into the real world. <laughs> <laughs> The whole journey for you personally, how would you okay. describe? How would you describe it? I would say, to me, it was a good one actually, because everything I went there to do, I did, except from win, <laughs> except from actually win. Everything I went there to do, I, I did. Actually, my main goal going there was to create a name for myself. That was my number one goal. Nobody can go there and say I'm going there to win. You're not. You're not a prophet. You know, but I was wanted to at least create a name for myself and then show myself in every creative aspect I have. But I actually won every art task, I won every writing task, and I was a fitness coach till like the eighth week when they brought somebody else. And then every like physical task that involved puzzles and games, I won most of them. You know, because I know how to I know how to coordinate people very well. You know, I'm a team player, I showed all of that, and then I went there to be myself and I was myself. I knew that. I might be judged, and yes, I was judged, but then I'm, I was happy in the house and I'm happy now. I can't, there's no, there's no right or wrongs in the house. If I did something else, I trust you, I mean, I promise you, I will still get hate outside. Yeah. You know, you, you, and I'm sure you've gotten this comparison before, but you really remind me of Ozo. Um, not, yeah. not in a way, Ozo from last season. Now, yep. yes, there's the romantic similarities, the parallels that can be drawn between both mm -hmm. of you guys. But yep. I also like about both of you guys. Like, you guys were also winning your tasks while in the house. You guys were not ashamed to express yourself and own the actions you yep. that people otherwise would make fun of yep. you. Before. That's what yep. I think that's pretty cool um, yep. about that. So now yep. you're out of the house, you're out of the big brother house. Who are your top three? If you had to predict, who, who are you going for top three? I saw you. I saw you sent you guys out to. I mean, there is the. You put out a endorsement, but let me hear. Let me hear your. Okay, mind. okay, 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 okay. That 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 one that one is beside. Okay, I know top three definitely is going to have Licoros and White Money for sure. Then hopefully Perry. Hopefully, 
hopefully Perry. I think he's doing well. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Hopefully, yeah, he can. You see, with, with what he has been through, it's not impossible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. So now, um, finally, what's next for you? For those who want to follow you on the page of your, you know, yeah. your life, what's next for you? Yeah. So what's next for me is my art. I want I want to put the ones I've already created out there. So hopefully I get. Um, what time I say hopefully exhibitions. I get to work with galleries internationally, locally. I create more art. I can even maybe develop some kind of art community where I can have other younger artists with me. You know, work together. That's the first thing. Second thing is modeling and fitness. I want to work with fitness brands. I want to work with fashion companies fashion brands as well it's what i can do and what else acting as you said that's it i don't want to expand the scope because all, all of that is really time consuming i don't want to really expand the scope too much i like that you're aware yeah. you're aware of that i like that you know you, you kind of yeah. have we kind of have touched on these things at separate points to this interview yeah. but i kind of wanted in one you know round thank, of you. Ball. thank you thank yeah. you yeah. i like that you that these things are time consuming and you're, you're you're kind of focused on these things where you see that there is there is a relationship between some of these things so it's not like you're really going stretching yourself out super thin yes yes on yes, yes. Because you can combine some level even the acting yeah, of course so that's, yes that's pretty cool man and um definitely wish you all thank the best you. Thank in your endeavors we thank you for you and for those who want to keep up with you, we're putting your social media handle on the screen. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> and, um, you know, drop comments for your, you know, the man Saga in the comment section below. Show him love. And um, Saga, best of luck, my guy. I hope to visit one of your thank exhibitions. You. I'm an art lover myself. No shit. No um, shit. Oh, nice. I'm into fitness as well. So, like, I, I, there's a bunch oh, nice. of similarities. So, it'll be really cool. This is be out there support you and then uh, yeah man definitely be looking forward to your yeah, projects in the future thank you thank you so much i appreciate it. interview was fun well, thanks no problem all right guys and uh, we are done